Earth and Sky. Sidra, Sidra, where are you, Sidra? I am confused about something, and I need your help. I am here. What kind of help do you need? Today's homework is really difficult. I don't think I can do it without your help. Don't you pay attention to your teacher in class, Asad? I listen to her, but I've forgotten all the important information discussed in class. You read so many books. Help me, please. Won't you? All right. What do you need help with? We have to write about the Earth and the sky. While also drawing a diagram to represent them. That's great. It is my favorite topic, and I have read a really interesting book on it too. That book had a lot of information about the Earth and the sky. That's amazing. Now please tell me how can we start doing the homework? First of all, we'll gather the relevant information and pictures. I already know that our Earth is very big and flat, just like this play area. No, Asad, our Earth is not flat; it is round. The Earth is a planet and is very big. Since we humans are very small in comparison to it, it appears flat to us, whereas in reality it is round. If you look carefully at this picture, you will realize that our Earth. Can be divided into two parts. The blue part consists of water, while the green part comprises of land. More than half of the Earth's surface consists of water, while the remaining part is land. Can you tell me some other properties of the Earth, Asad? The Earth has trees, hills, mountains. Not only these; it has plains as well. This means that we mostly construct houses on plains. Well done. Now let's discuss the sky too. Can you name some of the things present in the sky? Sky has the sun and some clouds. Did you know, the sun is a star that has a very high temperature. It provides heat and light to the earth. Now, quickly, what do you see in the sky at night? I already know. That there are stars and the moon in the sky at night. It's the sun rays that make the moon shine. Another piece of important information is that both the moon and the stars are present in the sky during the daytime as well, but we are unable to see them due to the bright sunlight. Thank you, Sidra. You've been so helpful. Now I will be able to do my homework easily. Can you name some of the things that are present in the sky? Clouds, moon, stars, and the sun. Very good. Now it's your turn. Show the differences between the Earth and sky with the help of a diagram. <laughs>